morning everyone i am shailaja tripathi from outlook group and today we have with us mr nikhil n academic mentor at amrita vishwavidyapeetham coimbatore and mr rahul kashyap co-founder of upskilling company skill slash to share insights on the subject of artificial intelligence and robotics engineering amrita vishwavidyapeetham offers worthwhile graduate and post graduate studies in the subject In simple words AI is the ability to mimic human intelligence and perform designated tasks whereas robotics is a science that deals with designing programming and operating robots the two are interrelated and are quite relevant in today's world they can be applied to healthcare manufacturing retail transportation and many more fields to delve more into the subject let us speak to our distinguished guests a very warm welcome to both of you So my first question is to Mr. Mr. Nikhil. Uh, yeah. Nikhil, what is your course BTech in AI and Robotics Engineering all about? You know, what background does a student need in order to apply for these courses? If you can give us, you know, a slight overview of the course. Yeah, sure. So basically, it is physics. So those who have completed physics and mathematics in their, I mean, like a plus two study, like they can join for this. robotics and ai courses so we have like different categories like robotics and automation and moreover that ai and robotics it's also available and computer science and ai it's also available so it will cover the basics of uh, initially it will start with computer science and uh, in depth it will move to ai if it's consider ai and robotics i mean like ai computer science course and if it's move on to automation and robotics in depth into the design things also like uh, designer things of this robotics design and a little bit automation things and uh, ai uh, machine learning and basics of the python and in the they will learn about this in the second years and they will start initially first year they will have some basics of the engineering they will study uh, detail about the engineering things and later on in second year they will move to the core core things like uh, robotics ai technologies and different types of i mean like uh, ai Uh, schemes and ai designs and things like for example machine learning and things will be learned and uh, later on i mean like in the third and fourth year they will have some practical experience also they have to do some projects and in and you know like after the final year or, the, or on the final semester they will have some internship opportunities also and uh, they can go to the career of this ai and even they can go for some higher studies also in ai uh rahul since you head uh, skill slash which offers upskilling programs in digital marketing blockchain cloud computing data science and ai which is uh, you know one of the most popular courses i would like to ask you like what according to you is the relevance of ai and robotics in today's world See, I think uh, robotics has been around for quite some time now i think ai as compared to that is relatively much newer uh with this stage if you really look at the market the intersection between the two spaces is relatively much lower uh, so you probably got 10 to 15% intersection you know robots at this stage primarily are doing repeated tasks uh, and uh, things that can get automated so robotics is associated with automation at several levels whether it is in uh, manufacturing whether it is in healthcare the def- definitely a lot of applications but where the world is now trying to go towards is where our robots can now think independently right? that that's where ai comes in where you don't have to program or code the tasks that a robot can do for us we want our robots to be able to make independent decisions and make cognitive choices based on the responses that they see uh, from the stimuli that they are responding to which means that's where artificial intelligence comes in you know we we all know what ai is right so it, it basically allows you to imitate human behavior and that's what we expect of our robots now so uh, that whole intersection which is probably somewhere around 10 to 15% now we would like to see that grow up to maybe 75 80% in the uh, years to come uh, in spite of all the apprehensions around it you know a lot of apprehensions you know it's going to take away our jobs and all of that but if you really look at it if you understand the space well it's going to create many more jobs than it's going to take away right so it's probably going to take away some part of the unskilled work and where work is coming from less less experience but then there are a lot of different sorts of roles that will come up as a result of you know ai and robotics coming together so i think there are a lot of applications it's quite interesting uh interesting so uh nikhil if you can take it forward from what rahul just uh, discussed 
like are we setting global standards uh, when it comes to your course what does your course cover uh basically it is like depends upon the students they can choose like what, what is their interest actually so based on that like they can choose what they exactly need uh we have like computer science plus ai and as i already told like we have ai and automation and robotics and automation it's also available so they can choose according to their interest like what actually exactly they need and uh, even like if we analyze the strategies of the world we can see the entire applic i mean applications uh, from agriculture to the transportation or from anywhere anywhere health sector or wherever uh, it is like ai application have been started using and it is like uh, people have started using and it's developing different types of ai technology and things and moreover that as rahul ji told uh robotics also i mean like the thing is like improving because of this ai technology it's all because of this big data actually big data it's like playing a vital role with this and even uh, students will get more opportunity i mean like learn more about this technology also i mean like big data data science and data technology and uh, data analytics process and they have to learn that things also when they are studying this Uh, robotics or ai course also so meanwhile like after their ug they can just step into the pg with some core specialization so they so that they can explore more and even they can create some new technology for this ai even day by day different types of techniques are developing to improve this ai technology also so that is a thing which is happening in the i mean in the curriculum what we will do it's like uh, we will uh, change the syllabus or we will change it accordingly like uh, what is like recently happening in the world and so this we can frame we will frame and will uh, deliver the things to the students so they can able to uh, easily understand what's happening and they can uh, they can also able to create some good things i mean like create some good new technology based on the things which is happening in the world okay uh, rahul uh... what what can it you know this course this study can be followed up with what further studies what higher studies can a student take up after doing btech in ai and robotics see uh, once you sort of got an introduction to the whole uh, area you know it's about then specializing in a particular industry uh, that's where uh, the real value comes out of uh, you know uh, you might have learned uh, data science you might have learned ai in principle and i think uh, that's really important to begin with but once you've done that it's then important to then specialize in some core areas you know uh, ai is getting help from uh, you know computer vision you know there are other areas like nlp where you can understand semantics and you can probably uh, talk like a human being or you can behave like a human being you know you've got your these self drive cars you've got so much happening around us right so this is a very vast space and virtually it be impossible for somebody to specialize in everything and that's where pg comes in right that's where uh, you know specializing in a particular space comes in beyond uh, you having created a foundation for yourself but then i think that initial sort of uh, introduction to the space is where you get enough knowledge to make those right choices make an informed choice on where you want to be going forward so i think that's how it goes okay okay uh Nikhil, as compared yeah. to B Tech in mechanical engineering, how can we compare it with uh, B Tech in AI and robotics engineering? Uh, like where basically, do you stand? Yeah. Okay. So basically, mechanical it's a study of some like uh, mechanical things. It is like uh, in depth. Like we are just going to mechanical things only, but. if it's consider robotic study means like uh, we have to learn interdisciplinary things like mechanical will be coming electrical computer science uh, some part of like electronics also coming so this is an interdisciplinary uh, i mean like subject so they are, they can learn they will be learning mechanical electrical and computer science so as like mechatronics was developed initially and now it is like changed to uh, robotics now we have like ai and robotics so they that is basically an interdisciplinary a uh, subject so they can learn about all the basic core branches which is required to design a robot and to implement and uh, further they can also do some research also based on that so it is like an interdisciplinary team okay uh, rahul my uh, next question is for you what are the career options after studying these courses after doing these specializations See, I think that's where we come in. I think uh, uh, we we get professionals from across the space coming in from different academic disciplines. 
uh, who are now venturing into the AI space. And I, that, that's, that's the market that we typically cater to with Skillslash and the offerings that we have. Uh, and the way we typically approach that, like I said, even uh, in the last question, when I was talking about how sort of AI integrates into different industries, I think that's where, uh, to an extent, you know, that's where people are lacking in, uh, you know, even if they've got the uh, fundamental understanding of where and how data science is getting applied, you know, they don't really have practical experience in terms of uh, how to actually uh, deal with it in real uh, problems that the industry faces. And that's where we come in. So uh, Skillslash is interesting in that way. You know, we uh, have an edtech uh, uh, upskilling uh, arm of the organization, whereas we also have a consulting arm of the organization where we work with companies directly, uh, giving them uh, analytical solutions for the problems that they're facing. And that's where we integrate our students to work on uh, those kinds of real problems as part of the learning paradigm. Now, uh, which means that, you know, somebody who's coming in with say manufacturing experience, uh, once they've upskilled in the relevant AI technologies, you know, deep learning, computer vision, those are technologies that are getting quite uh, popular and getting used quite often in manufacturing. Uh, say those people then get exposure to working on real projects in the manufacturing sector. And uh, in that sense, when you look at the nature of roles and how those roles have evolved in the last few years, uh, that's one of the beauties of AI. You know? uh, it's, it's, it's not a new vertical that has gotten created. It's basically something that has gotten integrated into how businesses think and how businesses want to function these days. No matter what decision you take, whether it is in the technology side of the organization or it's the business side of the organization, people want to make data-driven choices. And that's where uh, data science, AI, machine learning, and all of that comes in. And the more exposure you get to working on actual problems, uh, the better equipped you are in the end uh, when you're getting into interviews, when you're going and looking at different kinds of roles that have opened up given that there's a very wide variety of roles that are now available in the market and to be able to tap them effectively, it's quite important to have that uh, niche experience in those areas. And I think that's what we do pretty well. And uh, that's where a lot of people benefit from our programs out of. So Rahul, what kind of career prospects are available to a student after doing these courses? Right. Uh, so uh, like I mentioned, uh, I think in, even in the previous uh, answer, uh, the nature of the roles have sort of evolved in the last uh, few years when it comes to AI integrating into different spaces. And I think that's one of the beauties of uh, artificial intelligence. That's one of the beauties of data science. You know, it's not a new vertical that has gotten created. In fact, it is something that has sort of integrated into the way businesses are working uh, now. Every decision that businesses make, you know, at the core, they want those decisions to become data driven. Now, if you look at any industry in particular, uh, different industries have different use cases for the technologies that you're studying. Uh, but uh, where a lot of professionals ultimately find themselves lacking is in some practical exposure to real problems that businesses face. And I think that's where Skillsash really comes in as an upskilling platform. Uh, we've also got a consulting side to the organization where we do analytics consulting with companies. And our students, as part of the learning paradigm, get to work on those real projects, giving them some decent exposure of what real business problems look like. And uh, that's an added skill set, and that's an added value set that you know ultimately helps them, you know, land the typical roles that you've got in the market. Definitely, there's a boom. You know, there's no doubt about that. There's no uh, thinking that twice. You know, there's there's a boom in the uh, quantity as well as the quality of AI jobs that are there on offer inside and outside of the country. Uh, but really take them up once you've gotten the academic bent to uh, have studied AI and have studied data science, you then need to be able to apply those skills in real problems. And that's where, uh, you know, a platform like Skillslash really uh, helps people. Plus, it gives you the additional sort of uh, ledge of having worked in those sectors and having worked on those specific problems that the businesses are working on, uh, giving them an additional edge, like I said. So... Uh, no doubt about the fact that you know the nature of jobs are changing it's growing uh, but if you're really equipped for it i think it's only getting better uh, the, the landscape is only getting better thanks so much rahul so the sense that i get from talking to both of you is that ai and robotics engineering is an emerging field which is going to play a significant role in various areas in the near future and studying these subjects will present a sea of opportunities to students. Thank you so much for joining us today for this insightful discussion. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.